Um, this, is, this is a meeting that um, governors of central bank and ministers of finance globally would normally want to attend. Because it affords opportunity for us to review what has happened in the last six months. Like it may happen twice in a year, in April and in October. Um, and we all know that um, there's still the, the, the global economy still faces a lot of challenges. And both in the statutory meetings and some of the private meetings, uh, issues burden on global challenges have, have always been highlighted. Um, you all know that uh, post COVID, the global economy was beginning to recover quite aggressively. Uh, interest rates have been way, way on a very low, were very low for a sustained period of time. Inflation, particularly the euro and the development, the development parameters, have also been low. But unfortunately, as a result of the challenges that came up uh, in 2022, Russia, Ukraine, high interest rates and inflation in the US, and the need to raise interest rates and its impact on other economies, we got into where we are today. Um, the forecast at the meeting, at this meeting, remains that yes, um, a lot of work has been done uh, in 2022. Growth is gradually uh, returning again, but it is still at suboptimal level. And uh, inflationary pressures continue, even though inflation is coming down as a result of measures being taken by monetary authorities uh, to bring down the inflation rate, but it still remains at very high levels globally. Uh, to the extent that even our inflation projected at 7%, global inflation projected at 7%, remains very high. And um, the high point of all the uh, consequence of what we've seen in 2022 is that poverty, and it was very well, 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 well discussed here. The poverty levels have risen uh, quite astron astronomically. Uh, over 700 million people uh, are, are, struck, are, are being struck by poverty. Um, um, food insecurity has also uh, risen quite tremendously to the extent that over 350 million uh, people globally are hit by extreme food, food crisis all over the world. Uh, even the IMF themselves also talked about the fact that um, even the debt portfolios, the lending portfolios have reached all-time high um, in two decades. This is the highest level of debt portfolio uh, that the IMF has, um, uh, has, has seen in its books. And they are unfortunately warning that they may not be uh, in a position to do much uh, for countries that really require more debt to be able to, to uh, restructure their, their balance sheet and then, and then keep going on. So focus remains that the monetary policy that um, um, monetary authorities must continue to focus on inflation so as to to bring it down. But while monetary authorities are doing, doing their work to bring down inflation, they must also keep their eyes on banking systems uh, stability uh, through monitoring in the supervision and regulatory frameworks and the rest of them. Um, for the fiscal, of course, um, uh, because of the fiscal um, limited fiscal, fiscal space, um, the IMF insists that um, countries need to reduce their spending. But in my case, I would say, well, if you want to spend, uh, raise revenue uh, to be able to spend. Uh, so, so that, I mean, that's what you would imagine a politician want to do. But I think it's important that you must raise revenue and not get yourself constrained in an environment where there is no debt, where financial market conditions are very tight and very limited, where interest rates are high and they create a lot of burden uh, for economies. The only option for fiscal in this case is to expand the revenue base so as to be able to spend. All right. Expansion.